Hello everyone, welcome to the industrial automation channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to configure alarm in Delta HMI using Delta PLC. So let's start. First, we will write the PLC program. So I have opened WPL soft. This is Delta WPL soft. So let's start. First, we have to write down this instruction DCMP. This is actually comparison instruction, uh, but uh, we use this instruction in alarm. Okay, so in this, you can see this is standard format for alarm. This instruction is standard, so you have to just put it here K8 without any space. You have to take any M register here. So I have taken M101. So my alarms will start from M101. Okay. Then just K0. Then M200. Okay. Click OK. Then parallelly, I will move this K8 M101 in D100. This D100 we are going to use in uh, HMI uh, alarm register. Okay. So here you can see this K8M101 and this value should be here in demo. Okay. And if you have uh, 10 alarms, suppose you have 10 alarms, then from this M01, next 10 bits will be used. It means from M101, M triple one uh, till m triple one will be used in alarm okay okay so uh, there should be always uh, spare uh, bits from this register if you have 20 alarms then you should uh, uh, spare the next 20 register for the alarms don't use this register anywhere in program okay so it means your first alarm will be start from M101. So let's start. So my first alarm is regarding pump trip. Okay. So this is pump one trip if, uh, input feedback x0. If this is high, then I will turn on M101. This 101 means this is right. So my first alarm is pump one trip. So whenever x0 will present, the M101 will be on and it will be latch till I press reset button from HMI okay so my second alarm is pump to trip right so if x1 is present then take next next of this address okay so I have taken here m102 so this is pump to trip alarm this is emergency switch so third alarm I have taken as a emergency switch okay so address will be next to this it means m103 okay so this is our PLC program, we will download it in PLC. Ok, we just go online. Right, so let's go to HMI side. Open DOP soft. Ok, I have already selected the HMI here. So this is my screen one, right. So here in this uh, list, project list, you will have the alarm, okay. Just double click on this alarm. And now go to properties, over here. Here you can see the address tab is there, right. So in this tab, we will just select the address, just click on this, just click on this dots. We will select the link, this is our PLC first link. So here we will select D100. Where it comes? D100 in PLC program. Here we have moved this value in D100. So always take this value. Okay, D100. Then go to detail. Now here the first alarm will come now what's our first alarm pump one trip okay second alarm pump two trip 
third alarm emergency press okay here you can see first alarm is pump one trip second alarm is pump two trip and third alarm is emergency press right okay so we have entered three alarms here this is the text uh, which will appear on HMI okay just save the program now we'll go to screen here from elements in alarm section you can take alarm history table or active alarm list if you take active alarm list it will just show the active alarms and in history table it will show uh, history of alarms okay so it is depend on you how you want to show so i will just select the active alarm list Okay. I will take one text here. Use a heading alarm. Okay. So here. If I double click on this alarm list, you can customize the color, background color and all. From here you can change the background color in this way. Okay. This is border color. If you want to black, I will just select the black one. In second tab. so here you can say uh, if you want to display the trigger time alarm trigger time just click on this column so you can see here it will appear if I click on ok you can see here it will appear function button no need ok I will just click on ok ok in this way you can see if you want size you can select from here on size sorry for font size we will just go to alarm here you can change the text color if you want red then we will click on red in this way you can change the text color alarm text color here you can set the alarm font size if we take 20 so all alarm will be font size of 20 ok so now we will just download download the program in HMI You can see HMI here. I am downloading. Okay. Now there is no alarm on screen, right? I will just trigger X0.
I just need to force one. Yes. If I force on this, the first M101 is on. So it means the first alarm will come on HMI. You can see here. It on HMI pump on dream alarm is there, right? So let's generate second alarm. We'll just force on this. On so on HMI you can see second alarm is generated. So for third alarm, let's generate third one also. Okay. We'll just turn off the force. Okay, so for reset, we'll just give the one button on HMI. Let's take momentary button. And this is M2 we are given in alarm logic give the name reset is this m2 right m2 let's download Okay, so after I press reset, all three alarms will be disappear. If again one alarm, any alarm generates, it will display on screen. Right? Let's off and then we'll reset. So it will be disappear. Okay. In this way you can generate the active alarm. Uh, let's check for history, the history, alarm history. So I will just delete this window. Just go to elements, alarm, alarm history table. Okay. Yeah, there are uh, more options. Let's select the trigger time. Okay, done. Let's download once. So now in this banner, it will show the history. I will just show you. Let's force on this. First alarm generated. Let's force on this. Second alarm generated. Okay, all three alarms are generated. I will just force off this alarm. I will just force off this alarm. Let's click on reset. Okay, the alarm is resetted, but it's sh still it's showing in um, alarm screen because it is showing the history we will now again generate this alarm ok it appears again here right ok we will again generate the emergency alarm ok we will just swap this alarm ok I am just resetting this you can see I have reset the first alarm but it's still it is showing because it display history if I again generate this it will show again okay so this is the drop down list you can scroll down from here okay So we will force off all the alarms.
click on reset the all alarms are off now on screen but still it is showing in on screen okay so this is uh, history alarm history in this way you can set the alarms in delta hmi thank you for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial please subscribe to our channel thank you